I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about button control in ASP.NET. So in my last video there, I discussed about the level control. So why do we need to level control? In my last video, I discussed. So here, how to make level control using only code and here level control ASP dotted with examples. So there I used designer mode. And at this video, I discussed or create level control by using code. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about button control. So first I'm going to uh, create one new web form. So here, uh, right click here after add new item. So add your visual C sharp, it's selected. Now select web form and here give meaningful name. So add here writing a button example. So button example, now click on add. So there one file added with the other name button example now here sys of and your dot cs now the next is so everything in asp.net we can do by two ways first is by coding and next is by drag and drop so let's go to designer and here oh this is the toolbox here you can find button control so add here button control now here so this is the button control here button so if you select this one so and it has some uh, event like click command and here data binding and here disposed int and here unload now here at this point so this is at your properties so at here this is the text so at here at this point this is written button so that here it's a display button or you can write at here anything like uh, going to write submit so at here if you press enter so see the text property has changed now from here you can add here this is the font and here this is the for color so from here you can uh, change the for color also so see at here this is the text color has changed now the next is at here so the important or uh, important property is the id so id at here or uh, you should according to project requirement you should give you should give at here meaningful id so i am i'm giving at here btn so btn is my id now from here after pressing enter so if you double click then you get so see at here this is the button click event that find and here this is the IDPT. Now the next thing is so at here bit after ID. Now from here you can uh, change the back color also. So back color is the navy blue. Now here you can select a deep blue. Now here so uh, there are so many uh, properties there like on click so this is at here on click so at here click inside escape that is executed on the click side on click so at here or uh, when or uh, you click at here then that is executed now here after so at here you can change the at here height and width so suppose if i give at here 100 okay let's give 50 there press enter so see as here height change now here like this you can or uh, give at here 50 so see at here width uh, decrease so at here giving this point 150 of the width so see at here width that or uh, changed now at here at this button the next thing is so for color it's not looking good so we need to change at here for color so add here for color so with blue i think black look good black or you can select any or uh, the item this is so this is the way we can or uh, do drag and drops awesome on button control now here after the next thing is i'm going to also you 
uh, the example where I'm going to uh, click on button so it will display uh, submit button has been clicked so for this uh, I'm going to add new uh, form and here so new form so let's click on add new item so these are fake form that required so add here let's give at this point btn or you can write b button dxa and b one okay now press add so there is a new button it's created so this part that is not required so my intention to show you this all those things so by using at a drag and drop option we can create the button and here we can set the standard property at here so no need to change so here this is my last video where i discuss about flavor and here this is also not required now here after so this is the at here so at here i'm going to write the code so at here the first point at this point title so first of title should be meaningful so at here writing button title so here this is the button title now if you execute here so this will display the title of the button so title at this point here so see at here title has changed now the next is here after going to use a script so a script or tag going to use now here after open and close a script tag so next add here going to write language so language now here after so currently i am using language csop so we need to give add here csop now here after so run it going to use run it so add here run it equal to server so it will run on server that is the browser now here after I'm going to create uh, one button event. So add here let's uh, make that separate. So this is the build of code. Now here I'm doing some modification. So add here the next is add here going to create void and here uh, btn btn and here going to use click. So add here btn click and here let's give at this point object and here sender object sender and here event args event args e now here after let's use this to bracket and here I'm uh, at here this is the btn click event so when uh, you click on button so some event they are fire now here after we need going to use label label control so at your label there is no any label that I declare so first I'm going to write uh, uh, at this point uh, label control so at here so oh, this uh, I think uh, this division that is not required now form id form run it server now here after I'm going to use uh, s3 tag so there are uh, tags like h1 s2 s3 so I think uh, in my next video I will discuss this tags because this tags we need to use more tags so add here s3 tags going to use and here or uh, going to write click on submit button so this will display on the form now here after let's use at this point asp asp and here we need asp button asp button and here let's skip the id and here since uh, at this point I am using btn so at here their id must you should include at here btn so btn is the id now here after the next is or next is the text properties text and here 
So inside the text, going to write uh, crack me, crack me, and here after on crack event. So on crack event. So we need to write at this point btn underscore crack. So at here btn crack is there. So it should be same. Btn crack event. Now here after writing this, we need to use run it. So it should be run on the browser so that we have to include run it server. Now close that here. Now here after you can so at here this time I declare button. Now let's uh, declare at here or label also. So next is ASP and here you can find label right label and here giving id so id here equal to so id should be like this whatever you are going to use so it should be match so at a giving id label one label one now here after let's use run it equal to the server so add a label that uh, uh, enter with the name label 1 so add is the label 1 so now uh, you cannot find any error so if you press dot this time so add here you can find uh, others property like side skin id star so we need to use add here text so in uh, text property going to write add here um, so whatever you like uh, add here uh, I just I'm going to write at here so uh, hi friends so this thing is going to display when a uh, button click then that uh, will display now like uh, let's uh, make this closer so at here this is the body part here so in two different section so first uh, at here this is the one section so at your title here a script C sub planet server. So suppose if you are using at your or VB, so you need to include VB at here and your table one. Now let's execute and check the output. So see at here uh, this is the S3 tag. So click on submit button or here click me. So see, when I click at here. So on click event fire and here it's a printing hi friend. So uh, the next two thing is I think uh, this example or uh, this S3 tag it's not required. Okay. So when uh, add your control comes to this point then uh, on click event fire. So control comes to this one btn click. And here after that I start searching label. So there is the label down. Here at this point, there is a table. So after that, or uh, this the uh, text, uh, this things that assigned to the uh, label or text property. So I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.